Sometimes we want to add shadow to text, and this is going to be in Word 2019. Let's take a look and see how we can do that. So I'm going to highlight using my left mouse click and drag it over the word shadow. I'm going to go up to the font area, and I'm going to choose the drop down where it says text effects and typography. Now I've got the shadow option here, so I'm going to go ahead and click on one of those and we can see that it now has a little bit of a shadow to it. Now we can change this to be a little bit more customized. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to select all the text and that'll hopefully make it a little bit more dramatic. And we'll change our color to green for instance. And then we're going to go back to our shadow options. And we see a lot of different ones here. Let's choose one that has a little bit more offset to it. There we go. Now we can see that shadow a little better. So it's good to use a different color other than black because the shadow is always going to be this dark gray. And that makes it easier to see because of the contrast. Let's click on the drop down once again, go back to shadow. And this time we'll click on shadow options. There we go. And on the right hand side, we see all these presets that we saw earlier. One that we didn't choose was perspective. Let's choose that one and we can see what perspective looks like. But we also have these options for color, for instance. So by default, it is gonna be this dark gray, but if we want, we can shadow in a completely different color. So now we have sort of a yellowish, but that doesn't show up very well. Let's choose a blue. There we go. So the darker you go, the little better the contrast you're gonna see. I'm gonna change my preset back to what it was earlier. There we go. So we can see it a little better. And now we'll go to where it says transparency. So by default, it's set to 60%. Now watch what happens to the shadow as I increase it. All right, so now it's completely transparent. You don't see the shadow at all. I'm gonna go the other direction. And now you see the shadow very well. So if you wanna really see that shadow, make it really pop out of the screen like three dimensional, then you'll want to turn the transparency down. Let's select that again, and now we're going to choose size. So by default, it's set to 100%. Let's see what happens when we increase it. Look at that. Now the shadow gets weird, <laughs> so it becomes not very useful unless you're doing some sort of an art piece. But if we select the text again, and we go back to where it says size, and we shrink it back down again, we'll be able to see that shadow be a little bit more normal. And if we want, we can go the other direction as well. So that's kind of cool as well. You can do that. We can go back to 100%. So if you can't get the numbers to come up exactly the way you want, you can just type them in. We can also blur the text. So let's see what happens when we blur the text. Look at that. We can see there's a lot of spacing that happens when you blur it. And it doesn't always come out the way that you hope. Let's undo that. There we go. We have the option to angle it. You can see some advantages to angling. See, it sort of brings it around in a circle, as well as distance. So lots of different options with Shadow in Word 2019. You can create your own custom one or use one of the presets that comes with it.